Hey everybody, Jem Schofield here with the C47 and another episode of Gearbox. Last episode for the week. A uh, couple of business things to go over before I talk a little bit about stirring the pot a little bit. Uh, something I've been thinking about for a while. The first one is this guy right here. This sucker is still up for sale, the EX1. Uh, I'll send you guys to a link about it that I did recently and there's been some bites but with the economy the way it is and everything else um, that's just the way it is but you know small chip cameras aren't going away we just had the ABC intra-based 250 that is now out in the wild from Panasonic interesting little camera uh, third inch chips and a pretty high-end codec this has half inch and XD cam EX codec but it's tried and true. It's used all the time in production. So if you're doing run and gun stuff and you're out there shooting sports and shows and stuff like that, then this is a, a good one. And I'm uh, low hours, blah, 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 blah. All right, we're done with that. Second thing, Friday, September 30th. You may be watching this on the evening of the 29th or you may be watching it on the 30th. But the 30th is the last day for the early bird pricing for Postapalooza 2011. So if you're interested, if you were on the fence, or if you are not one of those people that likes to spend more money on something that you don't have to, then link, check it out, Postapalooza 2011, power-ups, two days of post sessions, blah, 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 blah. But it really is a unique um, conference. One that I've said in the past is really, it's like my my thing in October to go out to Michigan and I'm excited about it to see everybody a lot of people come every year so it's uh it's really cool and then I'm looking forward to seeing some of my friends who are going to be there as far as teachers and people who put on the conference so here's the stirring the pot part I have been thinking a lot about uh cinematography which is something I think about a lot anyway and the uh, titles that are given to people who are in charge of the image making process whether it's on an episodic television show it's on a feature film it's for creating uh, web-based content and so we have this um, we have this title cinematographer and we also have this title director of photography and I think and this is just sort of my take on it that historically those titles could be used interchangeably but now I'm kind of seeing a little bit of a potential separation. Now what I mean by that is that if you take somebody like a Gordon Willis or a Cronin Weth, uh, or you take a Danny Cohen or a Kaminsky or a Deakins or, you know, there's tons of these guys who are just amazing, amazing cinematographers. And you want to define what they are, then cinematographer is an apt title. I think that for me, what that means is you're talking about a person who has an encyclopedia of knowledge when it comes to lighting. They also have an encyclopedia of knowledge when it comes to how historically films have been lit. And so they can come into a space, whether it's an interior space or an exterior space, and they just inherently understand that language of light and they can go in there and they can create something that is absolutely magic. Now, we have tons of other people who are DPs, directors of photography, who are capable of doing those things in certain situations, but they don't necessarily have that encyclopedia of knowledge, that his, uh, historical knowledge, and just that ability to do things on, um, on a different level. And so I think that now, you might be able to call every great cinematographer a DP, but not necessarily every director of photography on a project a cinematographer. I think that there's a little bit of a separation. So this is me, again, stirring the pot a little bit, but I kind of want to get your feelings on this because to me I think there is a little bit of separation. You could have somebody who could go in and uh, into a project who has just an amazing sense of composition, an amazing sense of how to use natural light, to, to shoot something, but they don't necessarily have what a great cinematographer has. So if that makes sense, and, and they may be on their way to that, if that makes sense, um, which it does to me, then it does. If it doesn't, I'd love to hear about it as well. So there you go. We've got 
a cinematographer, we've got a director of photography. Sometimes they may be one and the same. Sometimes they may be separate things. And I'll see you guys next week on Gearbox.